Okay, today we're going to take a look at a related rates problem that um, is commonly found in calculus, and uh, more specifically, it'll be the ladder type problem that you see that's pretty common. Um, okay, so we've got a ladder 41 feet long here that was leaning against a vertical wall, and it begins to slip. Uh, the top slides down the wall while the bottom moves along the ground at a constant speed of 10 feet per second. How fast is the top of the ladder moving when it is 9 feet above the ground? Okay, now to start any related rates problem, um, I always like to draw a picture first so that we can define some variables and put some things on there so that we know what we're looking at. All right, so let's draw here. Typically, we've got a wall, and here would be along the ground, all right, and our 41 foot ladder would be right here. Okay, we can go ahead and even label that 41 feet. Okay, now you really do need to sign some. Um, letters here. All right, I'm going to let this side of my triangle be X. All right, and this would be the, the base of the ladder would be sliding here to the right. So X and it would be sliding that way. Um, and then I want to do this one as Y. That's the Y axis makes sense. So the top of the ladder would and it falling down would be represented by Y there. And let's go downward motion. Okay, but you really do need to clearly define what these variables are going to be so that when you take the given and the find and the problem, then you're going to be able to associate it with a variable. All right, let's go through here and see if we can't go back, read the story problem, and figure out what our given is. Okay, um, let's see here. The bottom uh, moves along the ground at a constant speed. Okay, so right there it is. The bottom moves along the ground constant speed at 10 feet per second. All right, well, I don't want to just write down my given as 10 feet per second. This would be the bottom. I've got to do it in terms of x here. So really what my given is, is they have given us um, this value with respect to time. So they have given us a dx dt value of 10 feet per second. Okay, so I'm going to also write that up here. My given is dx dt equals 10 feet per second. All right, but the variables really are important. If you just write down 10 feet per second, you're going to get confused as to where it's at in the triangle. And then when we start um, dealing with our equation, then things aren't going to make sense because we're not going to know what represents what. All right, um, so then after you figure out what your given was, you've defined it according to a variable, you can go and you can find out what they're asking, okay? So what you're trying to find here, how fast is the top of the ladder moving down when it is 9 feet above the ground, okay? So that's kind of important right there. All right, so I'm talking about the top of the ladder. Well, the top of the ladder falling over here, all right, it's got to be in terms of my y here, so this would be with respect to time, dy dt. All right, so that's actually what I'm trying to find, dy dt. All right, but then this when it is nine feet above the ground. So in other words, when, and since I let this side of the triangle be y, when y equals nine feet. All right, so you've drawn a picture, you've got your given, you've got your find. Okay, next thing um, I like to do is then determine the geometric formula that's going to be what we have to work with. Every related rates problem has to have some type of formula that you're dealing with. This is obviously a right triangle right here, um, and I've got sides of that right triangle given, so then I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. If I had another different type of story problem, not a ladder problem, something else that gave me a right triangle but maybe had some um, reference angles and you were trying to, to do something related rates with that, all right, you'd be using a right triangle. Uh, with uh, some trig formulas in there. You could write a right triangle trig. So just because it's a right triangle doesn't mean you have to do Pythagorean theorem. All right, but in this case, because I have the three values on the sides, that's the formula that I'm going to use. All right, so my formula here, I'm going to go ahead and write it in terms of the variables that I've got. x squared plus y squared equals 41 squared. All right, so then there's my formula. So there's my setup for my entire related rates problem. Now I can go to working this out. So let's switch out to a different piece of paper. All right, so I've taken um, all of that information that I already had, and I've rewritten it down here on the left-hand side in case we need to reference that. Okay, so uh, working out the related rates problem, I'm going to start with my formula that I had right there. So x squared plus y squared equals 41 squared. All right, first thing you need to do is you need to implicitly differentiate um, your equation with respect to time. So let's write that down. We are going to implicitly differentiate, okay, with respect to time. All right, so that's our step one. Okay, so uh, doing that, I will have a 
2x. All right, now, implicitly, throwing in um, with respect to time, dx dt. All right, here I'm going to have 2y, and then dy dt, and then equals uh, derivative there of a constant is just going to be 0. Okay, so once you... And, and in all honesty, that really is about the only calculus in the entire problem here. I'm taking the equation. I am implicitly differentiating with respect to time. All right, from here to the end of the problem, it is all just plain arithmetic. All right, I'm going to start filling in values that I know. All right, I am going to be finding that dy dt, so I won't plug anything in for there, but I should hopefully be able to plug something in for y, dx dt, because that was given, and x. Okay, now if you start doing this left to right, I'm going to go, okay, there's 2, I'm going to plug in a value for x, and I come over here and I look, all right, I know what y is, I know what dx dt is, all right, but I don't, right off the bat, from what I've done so far, I don't know what x is. All right, however, I do know this side of the triangle is 9, this side is 41, so I can find x if I use Pythagorean theorem. So, right off the bat, I'm, when I go to plug things in, I'm finding, okay, I don't have one of the values, so then I can do something to find it. So let's do... Pythagorean theorem over here just real quick to find that value. All right, I don't know my x, so x squared plus 9 squared equals 41 squared. x squared plus 81 equals 1681. Subtract 81 from both sides. x squared is going to be 1600. Take square root of both sides. Um, x equals plus or minus 40. It's a distance, so therefore I need my positive value. All right, so I can find 40. All right, so now I'm back ready to plug things in and then just work this out uh, using some arithmetic here. All right, so 2, I'm going to plug in what I know for 40. Now, I am going to go ahead and put labels in because I think labels then will help you um, once your labels cross out and stuff. But at the end, you're going to make sure you have the right label when you get out the end. So that 40 right there really is going to be 40 feet. So I am going to put 40 feet in right there. My dx dt, dx dt was given to me. It's 10 feet per second. I'm going to go 10 feet per second plus 2. Y, I know, is 9 feet. And then that dy dt is what they are asking me to find, equals 0. All right, so it's just a matter of simplifying here. I do 2 times 40 times 10. That's going to give me an 800. All right, now this is why I wanted the labels in there, because now I've got feet times feet. That's going to be feet squared per second just kind of makes your labels just fall out really, really nice there. All right, 2 times um, 9 there is going to be an 18 feet. And my dy dt, which I'm still trying to find here. All right, that should, um, that should pretty much look like a two-step equation to you. We're just going to solve for dy dt. I'm going to move this to the other side. That will make it negative. So then I'm going to have an 18 feet. dy dt is equal to negative 800 feet squared per second. Okay. Now, 18 feet times dy dt, so I need to divide both sides by 18. Um, and here, what I usually do is I just multiply by the reciprocal because I've already got a fraction over here anyway, so it's going to make the problem work out really nice if I do that. So dy dt is equal to negative 800 feet squared per second times the reciprocal there, 1 over the 18 feet. Okay, so I can do some crossing out now. All right, I've got um, feet on the bottom. I've got feet squared at the top, so that goes away, and the little exponent can go away. Um, I've got 18 and a negative 800 there. I can divide both those by 2, so that would become a 9. That's going to be a negative 400 right there. Okay, so then my dy dt is negative 400 over 9 feet per second. Okay, so now let's see if that makes sense in relationship to our picture over here. All right, the ladder is falling down, so I have a negative rate here. dy dt, it is falling down, the negative is indicating that it is going down. All right, sometimes in a related rates problem, um, you need to write a concluding sentence. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, just in case you need to write that. Um, we could say, therefore, when the top of the ladder is 9 feet above the ground because it's at that moment in time. Okay, um, It is 
and I'm going to say instead of using the negative here, I'm going to say it's traveling downward. So that's going to take care of that negative part. You don't need two negatives in there. It's traveling downward at a rate of 409 feet per second. Okay, so there's my concluding sentence. And I don't, I, I don't want to say it's traveling downward at a negative. That, that's like a double negative. All right, if I say in the sentence it's traveling downward, then I can just go ahead and use the positive 400 over 9. That's telling you it's going down. All right. <clears throat> so there you have just one um, example of a specific related rate problem that deals with a ladder.